media first followed by written press. We have a mixture of um, questions in the room and on the screens as well. So I, I will start on the room, uh, in, inside the room, and we'll start with Sky Sports here on the London. Marco, um, how was the party first of all on Tuesday night and when did it finish? <laughs> Finish not not so late to, to be honest was was good and the most important thing for us was um, at cottage and that moment on the on the pitch as well that was the um, the good party moment to, to be honest um, started the, not a party but the, the way you played the way you won the game it was the, the main thing um, the atmosphere in our, in our stadium was fantastic I have to to say that uh, was the best one this season uh, so far. And it is important for us and for us as a football club, um, but for our for our fans uh, as well, for them to understand that uh, it has to be always like that. Because if with that with that noise coming from the crowd and uh, the way they push our players, our team will play always with a different energy, and it's important. Uh, probably not for now, but for the future, they understand how they can be um, even more important for us creating the, that type of atmosphere as well. And it's up to us as a football club to create the conditions as well uh, of the pitch, on the pitch as well, with the way we play, with the way we, we work on the pitch, for them to feel proud of us. But we as a football club uh, behind the scenes to create the, the conditions for the atmosphere to be in that, in that way. That was the, the main thing of that night. Uh, it was an amazing night for us. I, it was fantastic for me um, to feel and to see sometimes from behind how the players they enjoy it, how the fans they enjoy it. It's a fantastic feeling for me. And of course, after we had our moments um, inside the dressing room, that is an important place for us and uh, in, the, in, in another place. It was a, a short party. It was not so long, to, to be honest, because as you know, it uh, was an important moment, but we won't. We want more from this season and nothing finished for us. Um, as we expected, yesterday was day off for them to rest and to relax a little bit. And of course, uh, today in the morning we started again. We have an important game uh, next Saturday and we want to finish on the top of the league. We want to be champion in this league and we know that it will be tough, but we have to fight for it and to be in the best conditions we can. Yeah, how important is it now that you go out as champions? It'll make all the sense. It will make all the sense um, because we are being so dominant this season. We have to we have been the, the most dominant team so far. Uh, we are the, the team that stay in the first position most of the time as well. But we know that what will be important will be in the last last game to be in the first position of the, the table. Um, in football, you don't have nothing guaranteed. Of course, we are in a good position, but... Uh, Every, everything can change so quickly in football and you have to be aware of everything. And the best way to do it is to be ourselves, to keep expressing ourselves, food focus. And um, we start working this morning and the, the session um, was good. Even if uh, for some players they recover from the last match was good. I, I felt everyone uh, with full focus on, the, on our, in our new aim. If I can say, or the, the aim that we have from the we had from the first day of the season, we inside this football club, we always speaking about not just to be promoted but to be champion again, and we fight for it. And it's good for me to it's good that I, I can see everybody with full focus on it. Is there any team news you can tell us for Saturday? Any players unavailable, injury, illness, or, or hangovers? No, for the moment, for the moment they are all all available. Of course, we have uh, another session tomorrow, but for the moment, uh, all all of them they are available. Um, Mitrovic um, goes to Bournemouth with 40 goals. He is two away from equaling the record in the Championship with 42. Um, can he break that, equal it in the next four games? I think, we, as always, it will be a consequence from our games. And Mitro is, is scoring so a fantastic number of goals. I think the, the, 
the numbers speaks for themselves and I can say nothing more about it. It's, it's been um, brilliant, Mitro. Uh, of course, we as a, as a team and these teammates, the way you play, our philosophy uh, provide um, very good things for him as well. And after he has the talent and the, the ability to score, and uh, will be the same the next the next games. Um, I know that will be a, another fantastic achievement for him. He already did some uh, achieved some things during the, the season, but it will be another one amazing. We are here to to help him, and the best way to help him is to to keep playing our way, to to respect our our match plan every time, to respect our philosophy, to play in the way we like to play, to be ourselves. And after the the goals from Mitro or another player another striker or another player that play in our attack line will be a consequence from our from our game and what we want to be is to to be stronger than our opposition side next Saturday in the games that will come after and we know that in this way we can provide chances for him to score. Mitro is also up for the Championship Player of the Year at the awards on Sunday with, with Harry Wilson and also Dominic Solanke is the third up for the awards. Is Mitro though for you the, the Championship Player of the Year? Probably I will not. I'm not the right person to 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 say to you will be because um, probably I will be unfair with players the other teams. I look more. I look for my team, my my players. <laughs> if I if I can choose, I will choose um, the 27 I have in my my squad definitely. Uh, but being realistic, looking for everything what. Um, the teams that are playing this competition, everything what he did uh, until now, and he has more games to, to play, more good things to do, I think will be, uh, I will not say to you will be the, what will be the, 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 the choice, but for me it will be really easy to, to decide. I think for everyone that follow the, the championship this season, it will be really easy to decide what will be the best player of this competition. And Fabio is up for the young player of the season of the championship. He has been incredible. What would you say about him after this season? He's been fantastic, fantastic boy. Uh, unfortunately for me, um, or for him, um, I got him with less, just one year of his contract. Was the the, the 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 bad thing I can see in Fabi because a young lad, but he has the talent, and when they have the talent, it's it easier thing for a manager to work with, and he has the talent. But apart from the talent, he has the the maturity that needs to be a, a top football player, and he has it with 19 years old. It's fantastic. And you know, work rate is, is fantastic as well. He likes to learn. He knows from the first day what I expect from him. He felt that we we believed on him as well, and we make him important because he deserves it. And we, he knows that we are always behind him, demanding from him. We didn't give uh, a day for him. Uh, without the, the demanding from the technical staff, it's important for him to keep growing. And he's a, he's a very good player. And I'm 100% sure that we will have a, a very good career uh, ahead of him because he deserves it and he has the talent as well. I know you've been talking about his future for months, but there was a suggestion yesterday that a deal with Liverpool is done. And they're talking about a deal to 2027. The medical's completed. There's a selling clause of Fulham of 20%. Can you elaborate on that at all? Is that true? <laughs> They said yesterday, they said two weeks ago, three weeks ago, uh, probably one month ago, is I, as you expect, I am speaking with our my board um, every single day or almost 22 days, uh, definitely. Um, until now, I didn't uh, receive news about it or if something uh, closed or not or done or not with uh, with um, any club and because that I don't want to talk about rumors or if it's something is true or not. Just two more, um, please, Marco. Are you already looking at recruitment for next season? When Fulham were last promoted, it was in August. You've been promoted in April. You've got a massive head start, haven't you? Can you use that time to make the difference this time? We lose that time in a, in a good way, definitely. I I said that last uh, last home game as well. After we you got promotion, I said that uh, for some of your colleagues as well that we have enough time, and it's good to. To get the promotion early, that gives us uh, time to to plan and to to do everything and to be assertive, if I can say, uh, as well. If you ask me about names or something like that, um, I didn't speak uh, with the, with the board about names. They know my my idea, they know the the, the plan as well. But if I'm the first one um, demanding from my players full focus in the next four games for us, demanding. Um, 
that you have something to win um, doesn't make sense at the same time you are talking about players with the board. We, they know the plan. The plan is clear to, to them as well. But uh, with time and uh, I hope um, in one week when we can off, we'll start to talk about it and start to plan everything because the, um, the things in my mind are clear. And just finally, on Tuesday, you were the newest Premier League manager, but today it's Eric Ten Hag. Uh, I just wondered if you had a view on a massive appointment for Manchester United. Uh, not many things to talk about it. I can wish him all the best. Um, as you know, he's an, a massive, massive club, and uh, um, he did really well in his in his former club. Um, did a good, very good job, and for sure, and I'm 100% sure that he will enjoy Premier League because he comes to the the, the best competition in the world. Thank you. Thanks, mate. Any further questions?